Welcome to the exciting world of JavaScript. In the realm of web development, JavaScript reigns supreme as the language that breathes life and interactivity into static web pages. If you aspire to craft dynamic and engaging web experiences, mastering JavaScript is an absolute necessity. Imagine a website without JavaScript. It would be a dull and unresponsive collection of static content. JavaScript empowers you, the developer, to create dynamic updates, handle user input, and build feature-rich web applications. From simple animations to complex single-page applications, JavaScript is the driving force behind it all. In the world of programming, variables act as containers for storing data. They provide a way to label and access information, forming the bedrock of any JavaScript program. Think of variables as labeled boxes where you can store different types of data such as numbers, text, or even entire objects. JavaScript offers three primary keywords for declaring variables, and the keyword, a relic from earlier versions of JavaScript, has mostly been superseded by and, use for variables whose values might change and for variables intended to hold constant unchanging values. JavaScript let age equal sign 25, slash slash, declaring a variable named age and setting it to 25, const pi equal sign 3.14 slash slash, declaring a constant named pi and setting it to 3.14. Data types categorize the different kinds of values that JavaScript can handle, and understanding them is fundamental to writing effective code. These types are crucial because they determine how data is stored, accessed, and manipulated within your programs, ensuring that your code runs smoothly and efficiently. JavaScript provides several fundamental data types that every developer should be familiar with. Number, which represents numeric values including whole numbers, decimals, and exponents. This type is essential for performing mathematical operations. String, which represents textual data enclosed in single or double quotes. Strings are used for handling and manipulating text. Boolean, which represents truth values, either true or false. Booleans are often used in conditional statements to control the flow of a program. Undefined, which represents the absence of a value, assigned to variables that have been declared but not yet initialized. This helps in identifying uninitialized variables. Null, which represents the intentional absence of a value, often used to indicate that a variable holds no meaningful data. It is explicitly assigned to variables. JavaScript let name equal sign Alice slash slash string data type used for storing names and other text. Let temperature equal sign 25.5 slash slash number data type useful for storing measurements and calculations. Let eSunny equal sign true slash slash boolean data type often used in weather applications to represent conditions. Operators are special symbols that perform operations on values known as operands. They are essential tools in any programming language, enabling developers to manipulate data efficiently. They are the backbone of any mathematical or logical computation in your JavaScript code. Without operators, performing even the simplest tasks would be cumbersome and time-consuming. Arithmetic operators perform basic mathematical operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulo, which returns the remainder of a division. These operators are fundamental for any kind of numerical computation. Assignment operators assign values to variables. Assignment, add and assign, subtract and assign, multiply and assign, and divide and assign. They simplify the process of updating variable values. Comparison operators compare values and return Boolean results, equal to, strict equal to, not equal to, strict not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than, or equal to, and less than or equal to. These operators are crucial for making decisions in your code. Logical operators combine or modify Boolean expressions, logical and, logical or, and logical not. They help in creating complex conditions and control the flow of your program. Let x equal sign 10, let y equal sign 5. These variables will be used in our examples to demonstrate various operations. Let sum equal sign x plus y slash slash addition. Let difference equal sign x minus y slash slash subtraction. Let is greater equal sign x greater than y slash slash comparison. These examples illustrate how operators can be used to manipulate and compare data effectively. Control structures dictate the order in which statements are executed in your JavaScript code. They introduce decision-making capabilities and allow you to create more dynamic and responsive programs. Execute different blocks of code based on a condition. 
If the temperature is greater than 30, log it's a hot day, otherwise log. The weather is pleasant. Repeat a block of code multiple times, ideal for iterating a specific number of times. Log numbers from 0 to 4 using O for loop. Repeats as long as a condition remains true. Log numbers from 0 to 2 using a while loop. Functions are self-contained blocks of code that perform specific tasks. They promote code reusability and modularity, making your programs easier to manage and maintain. Define a function named greet that takes a name as a parameter and logs hello plus the name. Call the greet function with the argument Alice to output. Hello Alice. Events are actions or occurrences that happen in the browser, such as a user clicking a button, moving the mouse, or submitting a form. JavaScript allows you to listen for these events and respond accordingly, making your web pages interactive. Some common events include triggered when an element is clicked, triggered when the mouse pointer hovers over an element, triggered when a form is submitted, triggered when the page has finished loading. The DOM your gateway to web page manipulation. The Document Object Model, or DOM, is a programming interface that represents the structure of an HTML or XML document as a tree-like structure. It allows you to access and manipulate the elements, attributes, and content of a web page using JavaScript. Think of the DOM as a bridge between your JavaScript code and the actual content of your web page. It provides a way to select elements, modify their styles, add or remove content, and respond to user interactions. Event handling and manipulation, bringing your web pages to life. Event handling is the process of capturing and responding to events that occur in the browser. It's the key to creating dynamic and interactive web experiences. Event listeners, functions that listen for specific events on an element. They are attached to elements using methods like, for example, JavaScript let button equal sign document dot get element by id my button, button add event listener, click function logus. DOM manipulation, using JavaScript to modify the content and structure of the DOM. For instance, JavaScript slash slash changing the text content of an element document, get element by id my heading. Text content equal sign new heading slash slash adding a new element to the page. Let new paragraph equal sign document dot create element P, new paragraph dot text content equal sign. This is a new paragraph. Document dot body, append child, new paragraph. ES6 Plus features modern JavaScript enhancements. ECMAScript 6, or ES6, and later versions introduce several enhancements to JavaScript, making it more concise, expressive, and efficient. These updates have revolutionized the way developers write and manage code, providing new tools and syntax that streamline development. Arrow functions, a shorthand syntax for writing functions. They not only reduce the amount of code you need to write, but also make it more readable and maintainable. For example, JavaScript slash slash traditional function, function square, x, return x asterisk x, slash slash arrow function, const square equal sign, x equal sign, x asterisk x, slash slash, this concise syntax makes the code easier to understand at a glance. Destructuring. A convenient way to extract values from arrays and objects, this feature simplifies the process of unpacking values, making your code cleaner and more intuitive. For instance, JavaScript slash slash array destructuring, let numbers equal sign 1, 2, 3, let first, second, third equal sign numbers, slash slash object destructuring, let person equal sign name Bob age 30, let name age equal sign person, slash slash. This method allows you to extract properties directly into variables. Spread rest operators, versatile operators with various use cases, including spreading array elements, merging objects, and gathering function arguments. These operators enhance the flexibility and functionality of your code. For example, JavaScript slash slash spreading array elements, let numbers one equal sign one, two, let numbers two equal sign numbers one, three, four, slash slash numbers two will be one, two, three, four, slash slash rest parameters, gathering function arguments, function sum, numbers. Let total equal sign zero. For let number of numbers, total plus equal sign number, return total, slash slash, this approach makes it easier to handle functions with an indefinite number of arguments. Console log sum 1, 2, 3, 4, slash slash output 10 template literals, a new way to create strings that allow for interpolation of variables and expressions. This feature simplifies string creation and makes your code more readable. 
For instance, JavaScript, let name equal sign Alice, let greeting equal sign slash slash using template literals. This method allows you to embed expressions within strings easily, making your code more dynamic and easier to maintain. Debugging JavaScript, identifying and fixing errors. Debugging is an essential skill for any developer. It involves identifying and fixing errors or bugs in your code. Browser developer tools provide a suite of features to help you debug JavaScript effectively. Console, a command line interface where you can log messages, inspect variables, and execute JavaScript code. Debugger allows you to pause code execution, step through your code line by line, and inspect variables at breakpoints. Network tab shows network requests made by your web page, helpful for diagnosing issues related to loading resources. Elements tab displays the HTML and CSS of your web page, allowing you to inspect and modify the DOM structure and styles.